Hi crafty friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Whew, this is quite exciting. Quite exciting. You know what? <laughs> I think as a crafter, you spend your life ever excited about new craft supplies. Super weird. You can love the ones you have, but you always want more. I don't know. It's super crazy, but it is what it is. So it is Friday. Friday, um, what is this month? June, June 3rd, Friday, June 3rd, 2022. So this definitely pertains to the information. Um, this mini catalog will start on July 1 and go through, I think it's like January 3 of 2023. Won't that be a crazy year? Um, so anyway, we're gonna hop in and get started. If you should be here at any time, um, even on the replay, let me know. Uh, give me the likes, give me the loves, let me know that you're watching, let me know that you're here. Okay, and it says I'm connected. So we're just gonna hope, um, even if I'm by myself right now, that someone, that this is actually functioning correctly and um, someone will see it. All right. Hi, crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner and a little uh, January, no, sorry, July to December um, 2022 mini catalog. This is my pre-order unboxing. Okay, that's a lot of words. A lot of words. Yay, some friends are here. Awesome. All right, so get out your pen and your pa paper. You might want to have a cup of tea or coffee. Because um, if you haven't ordered, if you're a demo and you haven't ordered, I'm going to just tell you what I love. And if you are a customer, I'm going to tell you what I love and you can make a list. Uh, you could, of course, join an order now, but there's a great ordering incentive, so you should really wait till July 1. But if you want to join now, you can still buy the incentive, just like I did. Um, okay. So let me show you the desk. Uh, let's see if I did this right. Yay! Okay. Sorry for my big old arm on there. Um, there we go. Yay! Welcome. Oh, good. So quite a few friends are here. Awesome. Okay. So this is our mini catalog. As I said, it is available for shopping for customers July to December 2022. I cannot... Let's slide it over. I cannot show you the inside yet, not until July 1, and then I will definitely do a walkthrough. Um, because, in fact, I have not yet had a chance to really look through this. Um, and I know on my pre-order, there's a ton of things I missed and a ton of things I want. There were things I couldn't get um, because there's only so much money you can spend at one time on craft supplies, at least for me. I'm in for many of us. So I'm going to tell you things, the things I really love so that way um, it can help you out. And then, super exciting, this is... This is probably one of the best celebration brochures we've had in a while. Um, I always love most of the things in them, but the coordination, OMG, it's amazing, amazing. Okay, so, and again, I can't show you the inside. Now, celebration is not the whole catalog. It is only July and August. So you're definitely gonna wanna shop early because you're gonna want the dyes and the paper and, um, the one stamp and die set. You're gonna want the things that are in here. You just are. Okay, so I'm gonna move these out of the way because I can't show you those. And we are just gonna jump in. I've got a big old bin here. Um, <laughs> I don't. Can, I don't even know if it'll fit under. Okay, so this is our bin of fun that we're gonna look at. Um, if you saw my little reel, I had fun. I just like opened it, made a cute, quick little reel. Um, this is what I got. Oh, and I have to tell you my woes. Okay, I'm gonna show you two random things while I tell you my woes. So, I paid to overnight this. I should've got it yesterday. Something went awry with UPS. And I'm like, you know, okay, that's not great, but things happen. Then I have an email that is delivered at 10.30 and I see the email at like noon. It's not there. I've never had a problem with UPS. I had to walk my entire neighborhood and it was way the heck over and I had to call my husband bring the car because the boxes were too heavy. And so I basically stole it from some neighbor's house and it's my boxes. I've never, had, it, it was the most stressful hour of my life. But anyway, all right, so we're gonna start really small. And I actually meant to die cut this out before we got started, but I can, I can do it. Look at this. These are two little mini um, embossing folders. Look at the cute little mountains and then it's like little houses and trees. Although I kind of feel that that house looks like a spooky house. So you know what? We're gonna just, we're gonna start off. Oh my gosh, let me grab my die cut machine. I can get my little mini, because that one's little. I'm not gonna die cut and open everything. But now that I take this out first, I do realize this was one thing. Hold on, let's go this way. This was one thing I actually wanted to show you. 
um, and myself what it looked like. And all I need is a piece of uh, scrap paper. Let's see what we got here. We need a piece of paper big enough to die cut it out. Um, let's do a neutral. So what is this? Okay. All right, I got a piece of hair's end. Let me cut it off so I don't have a piece of scrap. Unless, ooh, ooh, hold on, hold your horses. Let's just do this. One. All right, I've got some paper here. I need to figure out what this paper is. I just have random, I think it was left over from things. Okay, well, let me move this all the way. All right, this is really awesome. Awesome. Oh, what is, okay, wait a minute, what is this? I would love to be... Yes, I will do that box, Therese, Teresa. I, I think I will do it. It might not be until August, though, because I have a lot. Or it could happen next week. Who knows? Um, it's a really cool box. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. And we are. this is thin. Will this fit? <laughs> no, I still need my trimmer. Oh, my goodness. All right, come here. That's so fun when you pull up an old project and everybody's excited about it. I'm like, oh, my goodness, how cool is that? So I gotta see if I can dig out the instructions because it was definitely a doozy. All right, many apologies. Let's get two pieces of paper and cut these down. But I think that people are gonna miss these in the catalog, just like I know I missed a lot of things because as demos, that paper is crooked. Um, we only get to look at it in a electronic PDF and I'm not gonna print it all out. That's crazy town. I know some people do. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute. Actually, let's do this one in the blue. It doesn't really matter. I have no idea why I care. I'm not going to put this on anything. All right. So I think that we need... Can I do it without reading the instructions? We need the base plate. I feel like it's just these two. Let's see if this works. I know what it is with the big one. Hey, Beth, happy Friday. Hey, Carlin. Yay, there's some of my team hanging out with us today. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. It prints that little village, well, whatever, embosses that on your card stock. That is so pretty. Okay, let's try the one with the trees and the mountain look. So this could be a great little background piece. And you can ink it and emboss it a little bit. Sometimes that gives a little more detail that you can see. Uh, I don't know. I just thought they were super cute. I think they tie into the... Um, there's a stamp set bundle with a little Santa in a train. Oh, I like this one a lot. Look at those mountains. Look at those mountains. So when you send the card, someone will definitely notice that on there. That is very cool. Okay, so now that we had, we started off with work, which is pretty funny, I will move this aside. We should not need it again because I was like, oh, don't open anything, don't do anything. So these are, it's called shoot ah. <laughs> I'm getting my workout right here at the beginning all right let me sit back down I was trying to be super chill and just show you guys some pretty stuff all right so this is called uh, charming landscapes embossing folders and then paired with them at the front of my bin because I was just putting a little uh, bit at the front this is a celebration paper it's silver and gold now it's white but you can color this. Ooh, I got Australian friends on here. Welcome, welcome. Um, you can color this paper. Look at this. So, okay, so you get a bunch that are striped. Is it two-sided paper? No, it's one-sided paper. This is a free celebration item. So when you spend $50, you can get this pack of paper for free. So there's stripes, there's polka dots. I'll probably use those a lot. Oh, I see, I see. So it's stripes and polka dots the gold and silver and you could 100% color this now if you're not in the US I know um, when I was talking to my friend uh, Joe Blackman in the UK because she's in my makers mojo group and we're planning our event for July 29 and 30 you should totally look into that um, just so many great ideas for all sorts of crafting she said a lot of they couldn't get um, a, a few things here and there there were um, things she couldn't get yet but she I know they'll filter in sometimes the shipping international is really hard right now all right let's pull out a pile okay all right so a couple individual stamp sets let's see make sure I got it in there 
So hopefully we have enough light. We, I guess we have a little bit of a shadow, but I think it's okay. And then of course you get the light, the hot spot. Okay, this is one of my favorite sets. It's called Yeti to Party. I love a pun, I can't help it. So it's kind of geared for Christmas and birthdays. But look at this, winter wishes and holiday hugs. Is it Christmas Yeti? Ha, ha, ha. I love a pun. This is a photopolymer set. So um, look, he's got a little, a little mug of like cocoa or coffee, ice cream cone, a present, a tree, snowflake, those cute little mountains to put in the background, a little bird, get Yeti to party, it's your birthday, a little banners. I think this is super cute. And so I think the way these are sized, you would put them, now I haven't stamped it yet, so I don't know, but you would either mask and stamp it, you know, using that new masking paper, or I would probably just stamp it and fussy cut it. But like this one with the little steam, you might mask it. And I think you can put them so that they go in his hands. So that is super fun. All right, so that's the Yeti. I'm, I'm definitely mixing these in. So this is a celebration set you get with a $50 order. Let's see. Okay, I can see it. I love this woohoo, amazing, hey, oops. And then all these fun things to go with them. Um, like, <laughs> look at that. Hey, good looking. You're doing amazing. Woohoo, you did it. Oh, that'd be fun for a graduation card. Oops, I'm the worst. Like, if you need to say sorry, or I forgot something. Um, Woohoo to another year around the sun. Oh, it's so cute. And this is a photopolymer set. Oh, it's very nice. And they're big. Is that say what? Hold on. I have glasses here. 90% of the size. So they're a little bit bigger. Those are fun. I think I'm going to have a fun time with those. Oops, got stuff in the way. Okay, so that is a celebration set. Like the paper, you have to purchase something to get that. Um, and if you're a demo, you can pre-earn them. We, I got them for free. I didn't have to pay for them. All right. So here's where celebration gets really amazing. So in the catalog, I see this set, Trees for You. And I'm like, that is a cute set because I'm always looking for a good tree set. I love Christmas trees. And I love making winter birthday cards with trees. And I'm like, this is cute. It's got the two-step stamping. It's got that cute little dog thing. Look at the little stand, trees for sale. Some nice greetings. I really like those little lights. And then I open the celebration brochure, my friends. Then I open the celebration brochure, well, online. And I'm flipping. Look at these dies. Okay, so just know that there will be a holiday banner. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this. I don't even have a camper. I don't. But I think the little camper thing, sorry, I'm going to cough. Hold on one sec. <coughs> I'm getting too excited. And look, I'm using my Starbucks, um, can you see the trees? Oops, I did the wrong way. My Starbucks uh, holiday uh, water cup. There is the cutest little camper, the little dog, um, the little like X, I, the signs, the trees, the wood, the lights. There's a pole. I don't know. I think it's so so cute so I this is high on my list to make a sample uh, a banner Ooh, it would make an awesome little sampler a little framed art Ooh, maybe I'll do that instead because there is a paper that I did not get it's gonna be around two for me um, it's this holly it's very classic old school and I've kind of Ooh, somebody would like a banner in this set that's good to know yeah and so definitely when I'm spouting off all of these ideas if there's something you like you gotta let me know um, and I can see if I can do it. But there's an old school holly set that I think would make a beautiful banner or sampler. But anyway, trees for sale. So when I spent $50, I'm pretty sure these were a $50 die set. Hold on. Don't look. It's top secret. Let me see. No. Okay, so the dies, I thought there's an awful lot of dies there. You have to spend $100 to get those dies. But it won't be any, any problem. And if I do it with a banner, you would just need to buy... Depending on how I do it, you might just only need to buy the stamp set because then I could die cut the things. But sometimes um, you need the stamp set. I'll figure it out. There's, I got time. I mean, the catalog isn't even started yet. All right, let me take out uh, another little pile. All right, so high on my list right here is Snowman Magic. This is also a photopolymer set. So apparently I like the ones this year that are little. Like there's so much little stuff in here. But this little snowman, he really reminds me of the one in the old school in the U.S. We have um, 
these classic claymation, I think, animated little things. And it's Frosty the Snowman, and there's a little bunny and a little top hat. But even more fun is sunglasses and what else? There was something else. Oh, sending wishes for a cool Christmas. So like if you filled with warm and wonderful memories. So if you live somewhere warm, like Florida or, um, well, in Australia, right? It's the reverse season than us. You could make really cute um, things, I think, with this. Some of the samples they showed it with sand. Um, it was very, a sand look. So anyway, little Holly, it's the most magical time of the year. That is a beautiful big greeting. You could put it inside or on the front of a card. The dies, okay, so I didn't know this, but one of my downlines, she actually works at a, a, a craft store. What did she call these front plates? I didn't know they had a name. She loves these big things. So they're like basically makes a card front, and this one is full of snowflakes. And look at the cute little trees, and then all the little bits and bobs, and the little snowman, and uh, the bunny. I like that little bunny so much. The top hat, but where this thing cuts it all out, like to make a little piece, which would be great for a sampler or a card or a little framed art. So this is a very cute one. Snowman magic. All right, come here, snowman magic. I know I'm going to get into trouble with big piles over here. If you hear a big crash, it's okay. It hopefully won't break anything. <laughs> all right, and then this one, window wishes really like this one um, but you can build a car in a house I like these little candles kind of old old school um, I like the fonts I like that word peace I like to put that on a card and like that would probably I might put that on a different card like one with trees on it like I like things to be cutesy but I also like them to be I don't know just feel good pretty and look at these dies so there's a two sets of window so that you can cut out and you can put stuff behind them or make a hole into the back of your card there's a big bow, there's the trees, the thing to make the house, here's the flames for the candle, and this will cut out the three candles together. Hey Lisa, welcome from Florida. All right, so anyway, window wishes, it made it in the first round. I do have a little list of things like the price got too high and I was like, oh, take those off, take those off. So that probably happens when you're shopping too. All right, and then when you're spending all that money, when you're spending all that money, you're like, what else could I get for free? For $50 each, so for 100, you can get this whole bundle, has nothing to do with holidays. Look at these super cute hitto, hip, hittos, hippos. Love you a ton, you're always on point. Look, that one's a little dancing one. They are, oh, you're so hip, oh, sorry. Oh, you're so hip, it's a hippo, a hippopotamus, hip. Aw, you really are the best. Yes, I am. And the dyes are amazing. There's a little tub, like so you can make it like they're taking a bath. There's an umbrella, there's sunglasses, um, hearts. There, there's like um, a snorkel. I don't know, I thought this one was very clever. Like Stampin' Up! usually has a cute little animal one in the celebration. I really like this one. I like it a ton. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be here all week. <laughs> all right. Now I'm going to show you a sweet. And I I am super mean to myself. I get this prepped now, but I don't let myself look in the paper. You don't know how much that kills me. It kills me. So this is called the Cottage Reef Sweet, maybe. Um, oh, this must go with it all. Okay, I think all this stuff is what goes with it. We're going to guess. Um, obviously when it goes online or if you could have a cat if you need a catalog let me know I'm happy to send you one um, but I put it all together in the bin so I think this all goes together so these are new I've never done pearlized enamel effects um, it's black red and white my understanding is you know how we get embellishments and they look like little resin dots that this will make it on your card so you would Maybe I think you would make your card and then you would squirt these on and then you let it dry probably overnight would be my guess Yeah, so we have real red white and black and So then we can make our little dots and this will make a kabillion dots and you can make them big or small I think it's gonna be fun. I'm actually kind of looking and I don't normally like I don't like things messy or fussy Except apparently I bought things with a whole bunch of little fussy bits this time, but I'm kind of excited about these so those are definitely new. Now, some people maybe have been using those. I just have never used them. There's this really nice twine, which I did not open, that it has um, 
silver in it because it said that in the words so that's how I knew Ooh, it's thick look at that so it has silver woven through the twine yep 80% linen 20% PET whatever PET is threaded twine so I think that'll be fun the stamp set okay so this is why I was drawn to this it gives you three seasons so you get your Christmas you get your fall with your grateful and your acorns and um, you get your Halloween in the catalog was the cutest sample of a little wreath with a little spider falling down and it said boo and I was like sold I want that one and I'm also planning for um, I have two groups I work with um, the second group is the Maryland stampers I talk about them all the time that event is a local plus to go but it includes all the stuff and I think this is gonna be one of the sets we use for it so if you get it to go, you would need to have the set at home. If you're coming in person, you use um, ours. Look at that. Two wreaths, two wreath outlines. So there's two different wreaths. All of those, there's so many dies. Oh my gosh, how am I even gonna put that on a magnet? I don't know. It's super cute. Now, this paper is huge, huge. Oops, I went too far. It is a double pack. How many pieces? 48. No, because normally we have 12. 12 and 12 is 24. Holy cows, it's a four-pull pack. So <laughs> that's not a real word, <laughs> but it's a four-pack. All right, so we are going to open it. I mean, I opened the top so I could see this one, of course. Um, hold on, let's look at the colors. Basic gray, black, blushing bride, calypso coral, garden green, mint macaron, pumpkin pie, real red, smoky slate, so saffron, and white. That's an interesting color combo. So let's see what we get. All right, I'll have to do like part and then another part. Okay, so what it is, that's why it's a four, it's a four pull, it's a four pack, because we get four of each instead of two, but then there must be more, I don't know. All right, so let's just do a couple. Wow, these are some, these are, this is kind of interesting. I don't know that this is normally Audra style. All right, let's do three of them. That these are big and bold. Ooh, okay, but I do like the yellow. That is really pretty. I like that as a big, bold one. I'm not so sold on this reddish colored one, whatever color or red that is, because I 100% already forgot the colors of red that I just said. Okay, so let's do three at a time, because these are, it's a lot of paper. And we flip it, ah, all right, now we're talking. This is the Audra side of the paper. If you like the other side, that is a-okay. It's important that we all don't like the same things. It really is. Um, of course, I want everybody to like the things I like, but it is very important that we are, oh, we are all different and we all appreciate different paper. Okay, so I love that. So I'm going to assume it's going to do the same thing. So let's see. But it's way more fun to be slightly dramatic about it. Okay, so we, I, I kind of like the big red and white. Ooh, look at that black. Black on black or black on gray. That's kind of cool. Ooh, okay, I like this one. I don't mind this one. It's nice and bold. That's Blushing Bride. Okay, let's see. Oh, come on. All right, then let's flip them over. So I'm gonna assume it's gonna kinda do the same thing, but it could surprise us, we don't know. Ah, okay, so see here, they tricked me. There we go, this is the Audra side. And this side had uh, the really big, bold thing. All right, those are nice. Okay, we're almost there. So this one is gray. This is your basic gray and white. I like this. Ooh, look at that for your Halloween cards. Look at that. That is super fun. Ooh, look at that. See, I could see a fall card. I mean, I would see a spring card for sure, but I definitely, that I think it's mint macaron. Mint macaron to me somehow is like a fall green, as long as well as old olive. All right, let's look at these. Very nice. So it's basically the same. You get a big bold pattern in the same colors, and then you get a, a little bit softer. And they're tricking me with the order. All right, let's do one more. This is the last one. Okay, I accidentally saw what's on the back of this one. I don't think it's for me, but I like this gray side just fine. Ooh, look at that, that's a little wacky. That looks like I painted it. I know it's done on purpose, because I know the artist that painted it probably could do totally different. So it's all the same exact kind of styles. All right, and we'll flip this one over. Ta-da! This is one that scared me. <laughs> it's so big, but I like all these. So very cool paper, you get four of each for a total of 48, and so I know the price is probably more, but you're getting four of each. So, 
this is the, I don't know, I'm just gonna call it the Cottage Wreath Suite. I'm sure it has a fancy name, right? I'm sure it has a fancy name, but this is all the fun right there. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and put this one on the floor because I'm gonna have a big mess over here. And I'm super excited because I'm going to see Downton Abbey tonight with some friends. So um, I will have to clean this up later. Okay, this, this, I'm going to hide it. This is probably, I think it's my most favorite thing right now. I really do. Oh, I should sit up so I have more than just a chin. Um, I am definitely doing a Christmas in July with this bundle. Look at this. I don't even have a Scotty dog. Now, if they would have made it a poodle, it would be like 8 billion times better but this is pretty boss. It is pretty cool. It's a photo polymer stamp set, Christmas Scotty. You have three um, Scotty dogs, one of them of which you can punch out. There are um, three bows, a big bow. This bow I think is made to go like on the side. I didn't use it yet. Um, and then there's a way to make a little present. Hmm, this must be some kind of bow things. Oh, that's the collar. And then there's this little, I don't know, celebratory ribbon snowflakes this okay so I gotta show you I at four o'clock I was like I just have to make a card with that so oh my gosh I case this from the catalog look at that my friends oh mine is way cuter than the one in the catalog I'll just let you know that mine is like 10 times cuter look how cute that is can you guess what colors these are they are new in colors so great for spring and summer but also fun for Christmas so I stamped that plaid on white and punch it out. But look how good the punch is. Look at the detail on that little dog. And then the bow I just stamped, this is, um, so I'm sure you can guess these colors. But anyway, it's green and red. And look, I did the snowflakes all around the edges. To, uh, I don't know, I was pretty happy with that. So I started making this card at like 4.05 and this video started at 4.30 and I had to clean up. And I make a mess when I craft, so I'm telling you, quick and easy. So you are definitely gonna want um, the Christmas Scotty uh, bundle. If you're a customer, you, um, I will have the information out before it starts because if you order it from me, I discount um, the, the, pro the project class. All right, so that is our Christmas Scotty. All right, what do we got next? Oh, we got a really, really cool suite coming next. All right. I'm excited to try this. I'm not going to try it right now, but it will definitely come up. So this is an embossing folder that makes, what would you call those? Um, like tree stump tops, a, a tree slices. Um, it's very cute. There are dies where you can cut what I think. Now, can you do this? This is not a hybrid. No, this is a two-step. So you would... I think you would emboss and then you would die cut it out because it does it's not a two-step like that heart one we had I don't think I will definitely look it up because you know I will figure it out but let's see if I can get it off they put such good tape because they don't want the dies to shift around but um, it will cut them all out so I think you would emboss first and then you would die cut it out it's really cool. And then you can even do the second layer. I'm pretty sure that they correspond. So you can get two layers. I'm not, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong on that. We'll have to see. But it is, I like these um, branches and there's acorns. Look at this. Okay. So this little guy could be a gumdrop. He could be the base of an acorn or he could be the top to a mushroom. Like how? How flexible of, I was like stamping out that is pretty cool. And they did the same thing in the stamps. So they're made like this. You could put them on these little sticks for mushrooms or you flip them over and put the little acorn top on them and you have acorns. There are flowers, um, the cute house. You could stamp the um, tree stump versus uh, die cut it. Look at those beautiful greetings. Merry Christmas, love and warm, happy anniversary. Get well soon just for you. Okay, so you have this beautiful little um, tri bundle. Oops, that goes in there. Hold on, that I do need to put away. Do you think I could get it on the way it's supposed to go? Uh, yes, I can. That was nice to answer yes to. 
Okay, so you're buying this. I don't know how much it costs. I mean, it's what? It's a bundle with three things, so it's probably a decent amount. I don't know, $50, $60, something like that. So once you spent the $50, you get this pack of paper for free. And you're like, yeah, what? It's some flowered paper. My friends, you know it's made to go with this set. Like, exactly. All right, so we'll do the big giant reveal. So this is a regular pack of paper, but you get it for free. Look at that. Look at that. So pretty what pretty colors for fall and oh, this one has birds on it they're beautiful oh my gosh they're so cute I don't even think I noticed that in the catalog again I'm looking at it on a computer so I think that is harder unless you click the individual thing oh, look at that little village oh my goodness oh my goodness it's so pretty and that, see those mushrooms? Those are like the same mushrooms. Oh my goodness, and there's little butterflies. The little leaves. Okay, we're almost there. And there's one more I gotta show you. Oh, look at that. So it's that like poinsettia type flower. All right, and then we're gonna flip it over. Flip it, oh my goodness, look at this trees. And there's your stumps. I I bet. You want to bet? Oh, I could be wrong, but maybe that die fits on there. That would be pretty cool. Although, I think you would just emboss and like, oh, look at that. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Ooh, look at that. A little frost. All right, this one's okay. What's on the back? Hopefully it's, oh, okay, that's good. It's the most awesome one right there. So I'm, oh, and look at that pretty green and red plaid. So this is the paper you get for free with a $50 purchase. So you may have to time your purchases every couple weeks in July and August, you know, between paychecks. <laughs> or you probably just want to join. You just want to join. You pick $125 worth of product, and you can join in July because I'll show you what you can get for free. Um, you get it for $99 with free shipping. So you could really dent your list. A couple people joined my team that way because they're like, there was just too much they wanted. And they're like, I have to just do it. So um, this is probably called the Ringed with Nature Suite. I don't know what they're called. You will find them. All right. Woo. All right, Christmas, Scotty. All right, should I do, oh, you know what? We're doing another suite. This suite I was pretty excited about. Can you see what's on the paper? I mean, I'm not the most biggest gnome lover, but I am definitely a, low, a gnome fan. Um, one returning is Snowfall Puff Accents. I think the key is, I think, and it has tiny print. You shake it, you squirt it on there, and I think you use your heat tool and it puffs up. That is how I remember it working before. So that could be way fun with snowmen and things. See, I'm going to make you suffer. We're doing the paper last because the paper's the best part. Um, all right, this is kind of interesting ribbon. I forgot to cut the little things off the ribbons in advance. Ooh, it's like cotton. So this ribbon is a white and blue ribbon made together. Super cute. Um, we are most likely also using this gnome set in some of the projects for the Maryland Stampers event, and that will be in September. We're still working out the date for the in-person. Um, these are adorable. Fine sparkle adhesive back gems. The colors are so pretty. What? Oh, that's like a reddish color. You can't see the top one. Where's the, here it is. I guess I should have taken these out of the packages too. I took the dies out, but I see that it's like red up there. I'm like, what color is that? Ta-da! Oh, and they're like frosty. They look a little like, like snowy. Those are nice. I will be using those for sure. All right, I'm gonna guess, yes, it's a red rubber set. So you're going to get tons and tons of detail. You have four gnomes. So you have a girl gnome. I'm not a fan of the girl gnomes, but, you know, you got to have them. And you got three little cute, one with a lantern, one pushing his hat up so you can see his little eyes, and then that one, you know, traditional gnome, gnome gnominess. Um, a cute little mushroom house. <laughs> you know me so well. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, warm wishes. Your kindness does not go unnoticed. Okay. There are dies. The one that got me very excited on my quick look is there's a, I feel like that's a beard die. Look, it's like a beard and a nose. So what does it go on? How do you use it? I don't know. Oh, look, you can make a gnome with no stamping. So look at this. 
Okay, there's your beard. Here's your feet. And here is your hat. Hot dog. Ugh. And there is your hat. Look at that. You can make a gnome with no stamping. Oh my gosh, he's, he's so cute. You can uh, die cut out your mushroom. There's some grass. Oh look, boy, boy there's a lot of mushrooms. Mushroom must have been the theme. What are these big circles for? They're the nose. Look at that. You can make the whole gnome. Why they gave me two noses, I'm not sure, but they do. Okay, and what is that? That little dot, I do not know. Is it for eyes? All right, so some other demo. <laughs> yeah, you don't get the gnome thing, Lisa. It's okay. Like I said, I'm in the middle. Like, I do think they're cute, but I'm real fussy about the gnomes. Like, it takes a lot for me to buy one somewhere, but I have bought a few. Okay, so if anybody knows what that is, if they saw someone else share already, just let me know. Maybe it's an eyeball. I don't know, but I'm kind of excited that you can make one, like you can do it both ways. That very much impresses me because it's fun to have it with all the textures and the different colors of paper. I think that'd be very fun. All right, now let's look at the paper. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, like see, I don't know that I'd ever use this piece, right, with all the gnomes, but somebody else would and they would love that. Um, of course you could, you could die cut these gnomes out or you could, I was going to say fussy cut, but look at this. I have a feeling the dies fit. Okay. Now, like, cause I probably wouldn't use that as paper all by itself, but you could die cut the, the gnomes out. All right. Let's close that again. Oh, but look at that piece. Oh my goodness, it's the mountains and the trees. It's kind of like the mountains and the trees from that embossing folder. That would be cute behind. Okay, look at that one. Now see, when they make it small, I like the little, so he's talking to a little reindeer and little foxes. Those little gnomes in the forest are having a good old time. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, so there's the reindeer and the fox and the bunnies and the birds. That's kind of, oh, and the um, little reindeers. Okay. Oh, look, little mushroom houses, like a whole village of them. And there's little gnomes on here, little mushrooms. That's kind of cute. All right, it's not as cute as the bear paper, you know, the bear one, the happier than happy one that I made that sampler, which if you want to get in on that, you got to let me know. Because <laughs> there's, okay, mushrooms are apparently the theme of 2022. Because I just was looking at the mushrooms on that bear paper. All right, so, you know, nice paper on this side. It's not bad. But look at this side. I knew it was going to be awesome. I knew. I knew. Snowflakes. Snowflakes. How cute are little triangle trees? This would make a great card base. All right. Here you can cut out, die cut the big old, or fussy cut out the big old mushroom house. But look at this. Otherwise, they are all snowflakes. Look at that. That is so pretty. And the last one looks like a snowflake sweater. So very, very cute paper. All right. I don't think I can throw it on the floor. I'm going to put it at the back of the bin now. All right. We're almost done with what I've got. Okay, so now I will let you know, if you like Halloween, there are three Halloween sets in the catalog. Um, there's no big sweet sweet, um, but there is some cute washi tape. I didn't buy that yet. Um, I like all three. I will actually buy all three. One is a witch hat with a punch. One is this one that I got because it has super cute dyes. And then one is a stamp set of little witches that are very cute and would be super fun to, um, to color and to do the um, stamp on the DSP and make them cute little outfits. It'd be super fun. But this one, it was the dyes that won me over. This is a spooky cat that looks adorable. Look at the spooky tree, and then there's the same little frame. There's a spooky house. There's a whole bunch of bats. One, two, three, four, five, six bats and a moon. And this little one um, for holding all of those sentiments. This is called Scary Cute, but it's little silhouettes. And it's a red rubber set, so they are going to stamp beautifully. Imagine them stamped in black or purple. So look, the little kids with their costumes, a little a whole row of kids. There's a to and a from, so if you're making treat bags, another little kid, little bats. 
I thought it was super cute. The paper is not necessarily coordinated to this set or any of them. In fact, I think they, I can't remember which page they show it on, but um, it's in there. So this is black and white paper. It doesn't have to just be for Halloween. You know we're gonna use it on all kinds of things. So let's take a fast look at it. All right, we're almost, oh, those polka dots are nice. And look at that ziggity zaggity paper. Oh, this, this is, what do they call this? Harlequin? I don't know, this dime beneath the thing, this is super cute. Super, super cute. And stripes. Okay, now I'm actually very intrigued because I am wondering, oh, oh, look at the stars. So a little tone on tone, you know, black and gray or black and less black. What's on the other thing? It's the white side, so it's just white and black. Okay, they need to make a whole pad of that paper and the polka dots. Ooh, and look at those stripes. So this paper, I think you're gonna see little bits of it all over the place because black and white or black on black, they coordinate so well with every color that you have. All right, so that's the paper. What are we down to? One, oh, I'm down to like the last like three things. Yes, Lisa, it's beautiful paper. All right, so now I'm gonna show you another big, big-ish, it's not super big, another sweet. Okay, I've got things. And I think this is everything. Is there ribbon? Oh no, there's ribbon. Yes. And then the last things go together. Ooh, and I'm squishing my Scotty dog card. Hold on, because I like that card. All right, let's open the ribbon. This ribbon looks really nice. Because it's like um, that soft, I think it's softer than the one with the gnome set. It's This is like sheer. Very, very pretty. Gold. I think that's all it says. It says gold. All right, so there's some pretty ribbon. Let's look at the... This is a leaf label and amber gem combo pack. Say that like five times really fast. Peel and stick. Oh, they must stick on or we'll see. Okay, can I get them out? There we go. So you have a whole little piece. Those are pretty. They are shiny and nice. So these even have a hole punched in them so you can hang them or um, make them like a tag. They're very cute. They're a nice color. They're, they feel good. So, leaf labels and amber gems. Right, we'll put those this way. This die. So a lot of people would do this before with oval dies or oval punches, but it has um, texture. I think if you take your Stampin' Right marker, not your Stampin' Blends, Stampin' Right marker, and you're gonna color that and then die cut it out and you build a pumpkin. Like this one goes on the front and it makes it, I don't know what that piece does. It's part of it, we'll figure it out. And there's little vines. And then of course you can die cut out this big pumpkin. Look at those cute little flowers, the leaves. There's a banner, that's really fun. Um, I like this one with the little lines and the dots, that's super cute. And this is a, I think it's red rubber. Yeah, it's a red rubber stamp set. So you're gonna get lots and lots of good details in there. You might see banners with leaves coming, Lisa. You could be correct. All right, and then this paper is going to blow your mind. It is going to blow your mind. From the little bit I saw in the picture, you're, you're going to be like, holy cow. So one, this is absolutely beautiful. It's black background, cute little pumpkins. Okay. How are we doing on time? All right. I think we'll be finished up in like eight to ten minutes. We're almost done. Look at that yellow. That's pretty. Oh, look at that big one. So this is another one of those big ones made to cut and make, you know, six or eight cards, depending on how thin you want to cut it. Okay, look at that. So with all those gourds just splattered around them. Oh, it's so pretty. Totally love this. This is Cajun Craze, one of my most favorite fall colors to use. And then, ooh, look at those green swirls. I feel like that's mossy meadow. I did not look, so I don't know, but I think that that's the vibe I get. All right, let's turn it over. Look at this. So more black and white, more little paper that doesn't tie you into only having to use it for fall. Like you can add that. I mean, the only one that's really folly are the two with the leaves. And do you know how pretty it would look to take your Stampin' Blends and color those leaves? It would look beautiful. 
this whole thing is, is beautiful. All right, so that is your something Hello Harvest suite. I'm just calling it whatever the stamp set is named. It may not be called that in the catalog. All right, I'm gonna leave the gems up here so they don't get messed up. All right, and then lastly, I just have a couple of paper things to show you. Oh, okay, hold on. I guess I have, all right, I've got a little bit more. Okay, so there is a, a big suite. Like, I don't know if people call them a mega suite or super suite, whatever it is. I did not buy the dies of the stamps, but the papers were amazing. So I did get the paper. This paper is called Lights Aglow. Let's see. So it is six by six, which I'm not a huge, huge fan of. I know some people really like it. I like the 12 by 12, but we're gonna talk about sparkle. So here's your sparkle in your black. Ooh, look at that. It's like, it's like a tree in your, I don't know what color those evergreen. Look at this, it's made, so you can cut this out, four by four, not four by four, two by twos, I bet, and you get four little pieces. This is beautiful, you can't go wrong with, uh, that looks like vanilla to me, with vanilla and gold sparkle. Look at that, oh, this paper, so good. Look at that one. Oh, and I am I am going to do a paper share for the holiday catalog. Now that I have the catalog, I can figure out the prices. So in the set is I am very tempted by the one that is makes the trees like this. So that they um they have all this sparkle on them. Um there is some trees that are really pretty. But I am going to do a paper share. Now that I have a catalog, I can list it all up. I can figure out the prices. Basically what happens in a paper share is you get a quarter of everything. If you want a half, like you want two shares, let me know because I can cut the 12 by 12s where you would get six by 12. I can leave them long um, if you don't want two packs. Um, and I will, um, I can collect the money one week before the catalog goes live. I will be on my trip, but what's very cool is I will have a laptop. So then on July, oh, look at that. On July 1, I can order the paper and it will be here when I get back. And then I will cut the paper and send it I will put it in cute little bags. We will make labels so you will know what colors go with each paper and you will know what it is called and I will send it all out to you. Look at that on the back. Ooh, that bokta. That's so pretty. Ooh, and it's in all the colors. That is a beautiful set of paper. So there's that. And then they had all this fancy sparkle paper coordinated to this set. I don't know, it's called sparkle something, but there's two stamp sets and dies. There's all this different paper. There are some gems, I did get the gems. Um, I will show you that. So you're like, okay, Audra, that's fine. But look at the other colors. So you get two of each. So if you did a paper share, I will do regular paper and then I will do the extras, whatever the specials. And I, what I do is I just cut it in four. Look at that green, look at that gold. This is so pretty. This is very nice. So you would get two pieces of each color because that's how this pack is done. I just take everything, divide it in four. It's just easier to do the math that way. Um, so it's nice if, if I get at least four or eight people uh, to do the paper share. So this would be in the specials, and you can get the whole thing. You can get the regular and the specials. And pretty much you just pay the price. I mean, I hardly add anything in at all um, for the work. I add a little bit to pay for the bags and the labels and that kind of things. Um, so here, ooh, I like that yellow. That is pretty. So we have red, yellow, and green with different patterns. The back one is a snowflake. This is dots and this is little snowflakes. And this is a one-sided paper. All right, and then the last and most exciting, oh, almost last, is we now have basic black back in 12 by 12, which is important for us scrapbookers, for sure. I've been hoarding my little packs that I had left over before, so I will definitely be purchasing a, a decent amount of this. So if we want Stampin' Up! to keep this in the catalog, if you are a scrapbooker and you like basic black 12 by 12, uh, buy it so that they will know that we wanna keep it. All right, and then last, 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 this is a uh, celebration freebie. With a $100 purchase, you get this um, stamp set with flowers, and you get designer series paper. This has been the thing they've been doing. Re oh, hold on. These cute little gems, hold on, I gotta open them. They go with the sparkle set. I'm just gonna call it the sparkle set, since I didn't buy the stamp set yet. The sparkle set. I wanted to show you, because there's red. And I totally lost one. Where does it go? Okay, 
I'll have to stick those back on. Every once in a while you get a couple rogue ones that are running around. So there are gems. Okay, and then let's take a quick look at this paper and then I'll send you on your way and I'll be off to go see down, Downton Abbey. Be, if you're a Downton Abbey fan, you got me now. Look at that. Pretty, pretty flowers. So it's kind of fun to have something that is not, ooh, I like that one. That is not all crazy. Ooh, I like that one too. All Christmassy or fall or whatever. We got plenty of those. Oh, those are big. I like this color scheme. This is a really pretty color scheme. Do I know what colors they are? No. I could tell you in a second. Ooh, look at that. Very cute. These, this side looks like wallpapers. <laughs> looks like old fashioned wallpaper books. All right. I got to know what color those purples are, though. Let's flip this over and take a quick look. Orchid Oasis, Rich Razzleberry, Starry Sky. That's your, your purpley blues. So there you go. And that is one of your celebration things. All right. Let me come here big. So there you go. All right. We did that in 50 minutes. Um, two boxes. Well, plus catalogs. That's why the boxes were so heavy. So if you need a holiday catalog or celebration brochure, let me know. Um, if you have any questions about anything I showed, definitely ask me. You can always send me an email, audremonk at yahoo.com, or you can message me um, through my Facebook, um, or you can, you can comment on YouTube, and that gets to me too, or just send me an email if you have questions. I am here to help. I am so glad that you shared a little bit of time with me. Thank you so much. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Stay crafty, my friends.